addition to the conclusion of U.S. intelligence that it was a misfired Palestinian rocket, not the Israelis, that caused the explosion at the Gaza hospital on Tuesday, CNN just got its hands on unclassified U.S. intelligence that shows that the hospital blast in Gaza killed somewhere between 100 and 300 people, which contradicts the initial Palestinian health officials' claims that 471 people were killed, a reminder that the Palestinian health ministry is controlled by Hamas. CNN's Alex Marquardt is here at the Magic Wall to walk us through the latest evidence. Alex? Well, Jake, this is, of course, a, a horrific strike. We've now seen the unclassified intelligence assessment that was put out by the Office of the Director of National Intelligence about the strike at Ahli Baptist Hospital. This is some of what went into this assessment. It's an analysis that echoes, as you said, what Israel has said, that Israel is not responsible. And they base that on several different intelligence streams. And they say that some Palestinian militants inside Gaza do suspect that it was the militant group Palestinian Islamic Jihad and that a rocket from inside Gaza caused limited structural damage but did kill hundreds of people. The Israeli military has also argued that the damage uh, that was done on the ground is not consistent with airstrikes from the Israeli Air Force. They also claim to have intercepted calls between Hamas operatives, which they say talk about a misfire from Islamic Jihad. Now, we've heard those calls. We cannot verify them. So what do we know now? What have we seen? This is the area that we're talking about, northern Gaza right here. This is the hospital here in the middle of northern Gaza. Remember, Israel told everyone to leave the north and head to the south, but so many Palestinians can't or they don't want to because they have seen what the Gazans in the south are going through and that they are not faring very well. Now, I want to show you some of the video that we have. This is the most dramatic video of the explosion that we have seen. Take a listen. You hear that loud whoosh followed by that massive explosion. We have geolocated the site of that blast to the hospital. But from this clip and from this sound, experts tell us that we can't glean too much about what that projectile is, except that it caused that huge explosion. This is another piece of video. It is a key piece of evidence. Just before 7 p.m., Al Jazeera News caught this on an east-facing camera. You can see that light in the sky. We've determined that this is a rocket that was fired from the ground south of Gaza City, then exploding high above Gaza City. CNN military analyst Cedric Layton says this is consistent with a malfunctioning rocket. And then just around six seconds later, an explosion was seen on the ground. The camera is going to pan down right there. We can't say that that rocket in the sky is related to that explosion on the ground, but we have geolocated again that explosion to the site of the hospital in Gaza City. Now, eyewitnesses have described bodies and parts of bodies strewn all over the strike site. The health ministry, which is controlled by Hamas, claims that almost 500 Gazans were killed. The new U.S. intelligence assessment today says that that number is lower, closer to 1 to 300. They still call it a staggering death toll. And then there was this extraordinary press conference. Doctors at the hospital surrounded, as you can see here, by the dead and the injured. We've seen all kinds of charred vehicles strewn across the parking lot at the hospital. We have seen damage to the buildings. You can see these windows have been blown out, but nothing that we have seen has been leveled. We've seen belongings everywhere, blood on the ground, but experts who have looked at this damage say this does not look like an Israeli airstrike. We also have this new video exclusive just into CNN. We're showing it to you for the first time of this crater in the parking lot, which appears to be where the projectile struck. It is, as you can see, relatively small. And again, experts say that a crater this size is not what you would see after a missile strike from a jet or from a drone. It could say, they say, it could be rather from a smaller rocket. And then we have these satellite images before the strike and after the strike. You can see here the parking lot at the hospital before, and here the parking lot after, which has been blackened. And you can see some of those vehicles in the middle of the parking lot. It shows the limited structural damage and the lack of a major crater. There's nothing on these satellite images pointing to a crater from an airstrike. Since those horrific attacks by Hamas in Israel on October 7th, we've seen thousands of Israeli airstrikes all across the Gaza Strip. And this is what they normally look like. 
flattened buildings, huge craters. So could Israel have used a smaller munition, perhaps an artillery shell, at the hospital? Experts say that is not outside the realm of possibility. But as the U.S. and Israel are saying, it is unlikely, given what else we've seen and what else we know. So altogether, CNN has reviewed dozens of videos posted on social media that aired on live broadcasts and filmed by a freelance journalist working in Gaza, which showed the blast and its aftermath. A thorough CNN analysis of that footage suggests that the devastating explosion was not the result of an Israeli airstrike, and several weapons experts say that the visual evidence points to the possibility that it was caused by a rocket. Now, Jake, this doesn't prove the assertions made by Israeli and U.S. intelligence, but it is consistent with their claims that, that the explosion was due to a local rocket misfire. Jake? All right. Very thorough. Alex Marquardt, thank you so much.